What's good everyone, it's your boy Yadig, 4 eyes 2 gs here, and today we're here to talk about Jack Harlow and Lil Uzi Vert. Now, there's been a very public storied history between the relationship of these two artists, with the alleged beef between the two, and with Jack Harlow absolutely exploding recently, a lot of people have been saying that Lil Uzi Vert has a lot to do with this, and although I don't think that is a completely true statement, I do think there are a lot of interesting points, as you can see the notepad is full as hell for this video, so I want to break this down and get into it. Shorty got a body like Dre and Michelle. Yeah, kitchen whipping body too hot. He designed a crossy kiss and tell. No, hit it and quit it. Missing and vision and kissing and sticking to you like it's Velcro. Sell so hustling. Spending all the budget. I'm buzzing a dozen girls and they sucking a dozen drugs and it's touching. No sussing, fussing, no cussing, no repercussions or nothing. Got me feeling immortal. She be squirting like squirtles. Hop up in a mozzy too fast. First of all, new IG post alert. Go and give your boy a follow at your dig if you don't already. I'm teasing a new merch drop with two pieces. Super excited to drop that. Also, I was literally just on YouTube live stream when I drop this video. Shout out to everybody who tuned in. Make sure to turn on notifications to know when I go live. I'm trying to live stream a lot more now, but let's get to it. First of all, I just want to say, obviously, what's popping was a moment that completely exploded Jack. That's kind of irrefutable, but you guys need to realize for every what's popping moment, there's so much groundwork from the labels to the management to the artists that go into that final huge celebratory moment. From introducing their name and their face before they've even heard a song from them to eventually trying to build up that interest and curiosity in them as an artist to the point where someone wants to click play on a song and that's kind of like the thing I think Uzi helped Jack with the most so let's break it down and get into it. First of all, so if you guys don't know, March 2019, this is kind of where the beef or the storyline between the two starts. I'm just gonna go over this briefly because it has been covered before. Long story short, Jack Harlow is signed by DJ Drama and Don Cannon to Generation Now, the very same label that Uzi signed to. And then Jack Harlow, in the midst of the long wait for Eternal to take, posts this right here with Drama and says, just sign my soul away, double tap if you can't wait for Eternal to take. Obviously a lighthearted joke, but Uzi clearly didn't take it very well because he kind of photoshops the image and posts it on his story with the little clown emoji and this goes ultra viral and begins to spread everywhere on the internet because obviously it's Uzi and any type of beef or really anything Uzi related just goes crazy because the type of fans he has. So that right there is kind of Jack's first I guess breakthrough in the sense that it's not directly related to music but it benefits the music in a real tangible way. For example these statistics right here until September 2019 the month of March was his second highest Instagram follower gain in month and then also until September 2019 as well, March was the third highest YouTube gain in month in terms of views. And then even outside of statistics and data, Jack Harlow actually admitted himself in his No Jumper interview with Adam22 how much this moment helped him in terms of notoriety and building a name for himself. What was there like a Uzi Hive that showed up in your DMs telling you they hated you and shit? Yeah, I gained like 30,000 <laughs> followers. For real? Yeah. Whoa. I don't know. I, I think the key for me was when I knew that was about to pop off, I was about to post my music. Mm. I started dropping my videos that I'd already had out. I was like, so when y'all show up, Y'all see, I'm actually hard. And I wanna stay on this interview right here because it's super important to mention that anything closely related to Lil Uzi Vert in regards to Jack Harlow got so much attention. And this is what I mean by that introductory stage before someone like myself has pressed play. It's about introducing the name and the face to people, building that curiosity and that interest in them as an artist to the point where someone goes, hey, I wonder what that music sounds like. So let's focus in on these views and these stats for a second. So again, this No Jumper interview of Jack Harlow which just for context was released months before what's popping got nearly 1 million views on this clip alone then another 177 K views on this clip and then his full interview which keep in mind probably only got this many views because the Uzi clip went viral got nearly 400,000 views then on top of this my own videos shameless plug got over 200 K views and then moving on to the Google Trends data for Jack Harlow in recent times the first rise in related topic on average that people People search for related to Jack Harlow is none other than Lil Uzi Vert. Then on top of this, the related query at number 10, which is the only query from 1 to 10 that mentions someone else's name aside from Jack Harlow, is who? Lil Uzi Vert. So as you can see right there, between the No Jumper clips, my own views, as well as the Google Trends data, anything related to Jack Harlow and Lil Uzi Vert got insanely popular and got an insane amount of views. And you guys got to think, is Uzi the one benefiting from this? No, everybody who clicks those videos 
is probably only clicking because of Uzi. So the only discovery people are doing is Jack Harlow's name and face. Again, what's popping definitely blew him up in terms of people actually listening to the music, but building that introductory stage and that name and that face to the point where someone wants to click on that what's popping video, I think Uzi has a lot to do with that. So let's continue on. Now another really interesting point is that Uzi was the first artist to pop on Generation Now. So if you're unaware what Generation Now is, Generation Now is DJ Drama and Don Cannon's label and Jack Harlow and Lil Uzi Vert as I said are both signed to them as well as a few other relatively small artists. Now the crucial point with this here is, is that Uzi was the first artist to explode on that label. And do you know what that does as a label owner and as a label runner? When you've gone from not having someone pop in to having your first artist going to be as big as Lil Uzi Vert did in 2017, 2018. That means those initial doors that you had to break through as a label and really fight for are all of a sudden for your next artist, they can just tap on those doors and lightly open them pretty easily. That makes your conversations with other labels like Atlantic who Uzi and Jack are both signed to easier. Your conversations with Spotify easier. Your conversations with radio easier. And I do understand that DJ Drama and Don Cannon both have a storied history within hip hop, classic mixtape upon classic mixtape. Dedication 2 is my favorite personally, but it's very separate from him just putting out mixtapes and being featured on radio shows to him actually running a label. And when you get that first popping artist as a label person, that means a second, third, fourth artist you want to push is a little bit easier to do so. So yeah, these are two questions I kind of ask myself. One, where would the label be without Uzi? And secondly, if Uzi wasn't on the label, would Jack even want to sign there? So let's take this into two different timelines, right? Let's say Jack Harlow over here has has an option to sign to Generation Now with Uzi or to, I don't know, Interscope or another label. And then Jack Harlow over here has an option to sign to Interscope or whatever, or Generation Now without Uzi and who doesn't have a single popping mainstream artist. You take those two scenarios and I think Jack Harlow's decision may be different. Of course, there is no way to know for sure, but definitely from my perspective, those are two very different contexts to be making your decision from. Then lastly, the other discussion is, and this is alleged by a lot of people, is that the beef and the whole like exchange between the two was faked from the very beginning and kind of orchestrated behind the scenes from the label. Now, I personally don't prescribe to this theory myself, um, but what people point towards is this tweet from Lil Uzi Vert right here, where recently he kind of like deaded the whole situation and basically just came out and said, hey, he's doing great, Jack Harlow is amazing, etc., etc." Of course, Lil Uzi, I think, has developed a lot and is is kind of like less interested in beefs recently. So I think that has a lot to do with him kind of just embracing Jack like this. Um, but yeah, if it somehow was faked and it came out that it definitely was fake and it was orchestrated by Drama and Don Cannon, hats off to them. Because as you can see throughout this video, I've proven that Uzi did undeniably help a lot. And again, what's popping? Sure, that blew him up in terms of music and the mainstream and that attention. But I think between all the points I've made today, it's pretty evident that Uzi has unequivocally helped Jack Harlow's career. And especially in that introductory stage of introducing your name in your face, I think that has a lot to do with Lil Uzi Burt. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And before we finish this video, guys, I wanna give a couple of quick shout outs from the Instagram. Again, go comment your favorite Cardi snippet on this post right here. But specific shout outs goes to Off The Opium, and reef.smith for following me over on my IG. Much appreciated, you two. If you guys don't follow your boy at your dig, make sure to go show me some love. That would be much appreciated. Also, like, subscribe, comment, turn on notifications, all that good YouTube stuff. You guys know what to do. And there are more videos of mine on screen right now. Make sure to check them out if you haven't.